Today we're at Scenic Fraser Park, home of El Tajon School, and today we're here to... All right, today we're at El Tajon School, and right now I've got Emmett, a sixth grader. How are you today? Good. You doing ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Grab a marker. I'm going to read off some scores, and I'm sure these are pretty comparable to the scores you get on your math tests. <laughs> You're pretty good at math? Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, let's go 98. So go ahead and put 98 up there. And we're going to add these numbers. Okay, so you can write them however you want to, horizontally or vertically, to do this. 97, 92, 85, and 93. So those are the scores on five tests. What we'd like to know is what was your average for all of the tests? Okay. So as you do this, go ahead and explain to me what you're doing. Five plus three is eight, plus two is 10. I carry the one, nine plus one is 10, plus the eight is 18, um, 18 plus nine, or eight plus nine is 17, plus 10 is 27. Good, an easier way of doing it. And then eight plus seven would be 15. Carry the one, 18, nine plus nine is 18. Plus the one is 19. Okay. 195 plus 270. 5 plus 0 is 5. 9 plus 7 is 16. 2, two plus 2 is 4. Okay. So the total is 465 out of all of these. And what I like is how you broke this up into chunks. Instead of adding a lot of numbers, you just broke it up to make it a little easier. So now we have 465, but we want to know the average of your scores. So like, let's say they put it on the report card, they want to know what you yeah. average. What's the next step? 465 divided by 5. Right. And how do you know that you divide it by 5? By how many uh, numbers there were to add. Right. So 465 divided by 5. Five can't go into four, so 40, five goes into 46 nine times, which would be 45. Nine times five is 45. Subtract would be 15. You have to bring down the five. Okay. And then five goes into 15 three times, which would be 15. Subtract that zero, so there is no remainder. 93 is my average. So is that your real average in math, do you think, right now? 93? Yeah. Or is it higher? I think it's higher. <laughs> it's higher? All right. Well, you know what, Emmett? Nice job. Well done. Thank you. Well, this afternoon we're at El Tajon School, and I've got sixth grader Danelia with us. Danelia, we're going to work on a problem. You ready? Let's yeah. take a look at what we've got up here already. I'm going to read you a little bit about it, but some of the information we need is already up here. Have you ever been to the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C.? No. Fabulous if you get an opportunity, all right? But that's what we're going to talk about today. A statue of Abraham Lincoln in the Lincoln Memorial has a height of 60 feet. So that statue of Abraham Lincoln is 60 feet. They built a scale model of it. The model is only four inches, okay? We want to know how many feet of the statue is equal to one inch. So if four inches is equal to 60 feet, we want to know how many feet is represented by one inch. Okay? So do you have an idea how you would like to solve this problem? Division. Division. Okay. So let's go ahead and there's a bunch of different ways you could set this up and do it. Or you could simply divide it to get to one. All right? Because we want to go one inch. All right? So what would you divide right now? 60 divided by four. Okay. So go ahead and grab a marker and go ahead and start doing that. All right, and explain to me what you're doing as you go ahead and go through the process. Okay. Well, four goes into six. Two. 
It'll only go in one time, right? Because four times two is eight, and that's too yeah. much, right? So it'll only go in there once, okay? Which is... Four, right? Right. So you subtract. Mm -hmm. Six minus four is... Two? Mm-hmm. And now what do you do? Then you bring down the zero. Perfect. Four goes into 20. Five times. Mm -hmm. Then that's 20. Right. Then you subtract, which is zero, and the remainder is zero. Okay, so what is the answer? 15. 15 what? So think about the question again. So it says we have a 60-foot statue, and the scale model is 4 inches. The model is 4 inches, all right? And we want to know what 1 inch represents in feet. So 1 inch is how many feet represented? 15 feet. 15 feet. So over here on the side, let's go ahead and put 15 feet. And that is the scale. 1 inch is representative of 15 feet, so the scale would be 1 inch to 15 feet. Danelia, nice and done.